We're in the calm before the storm. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at him. Woo! I feel it in my bones, just like the cold. Oh, they came running, literally running. Hey, babies. Let's go. Let's go to the barn for a little bit and get some food. Does that sound good? <laughs> okay, Ben and Hank have been riding. Can you tell? They got a workout today, huh? And um, look, y'all. I got this hay net. I wanted to try it. It is so big. It is so big, and I'm so excited about it. I think it's going to work great. We're going to leave Cinch and Rip in for the night and turn them back out tomorrow. They've been out for a few days, and they were happy to get some, some grain. You know, you've had lots and lots of grass. <laughs> and then, yeah, i got to show you. Oh, does he like it? <laughs> we got six. Well, I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like to hang up and they can like pull on it. Well, and they lay down it's a jolly ball, ball, but it's a hay jolly ball. <laughs> He's like, I sure hope I'm going to get more hay than this. <laughs> you are, you're going to get more hay. I thought I ordered two hay nets and only one came. I, evidently, I only ordered one. I'm really bad about that sometimes. I think I have it in the cart and it doesn't make it. So anyway... I feel like Cinch will play with that because he, he tends to be the one that yeah. gets a little bored. And he's the one that does a good job eating his hay. He sucks it up like a vacuum. Rip, on the other hand, throws it everywhere. So I'm hoping that this net is going to help. It's the biggest hay net I've ever seen in my entire life. I love it. Okay. Look at them. They play so well. They love each other. Okay, I'm laying down. I'm in my border collie stance. I'm in my border collie stance. <laughs> Austin's looking so cute in her wild rag. It looked really good yeah, with a coat this morning. Yeah. He's just gonna win. All right. And now, now for the problem of wearing <laughs> wearing um, pants tucked into boots. And getting hay. Oh man, I forgot about that. At least I thought about it before I got inside because I can't tell you how many times lately I've done this um, in my bedroom. <laughs> it's nice. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. It's hard to walk and walk and record sometimes at the same time. Okay y'all, we are it's chilly. It's chilly. I'm going to clean some stalls. The horses stayed in overnight, but they're out at the pasture now. I had a Chamber of Commerce breakfast this morning. Thus, I have clean hair for a change. And um, it was really good. We have really big, really big Chamber of Commerce. A lot of people that come out to be a rural county. It's pretty fun. And I think they had it at the Senior Center today. And I think... I think that the kids and I might start doing uh, Meals on Wheels once a month, twice a month. I don't know. I think that would be a great thing to do. So I'm gonna look into that. Anybody, any of y'all do that? I'll keep you posted. All right, now I'm going to clean stalls and then um, the kids are doing school that they can do on their own. Austin's already been riding this morning. They worked yesterday with the two horses trying to get them, um, they're working on them not being sour to each other. So she took Hank by himself today. She said he did okay, but he definitely kind of wanted to get back. So they're gonna keep working on that. I really wanted to ride my horse today, but I don't know that that's gonna happen. Looking at another full schedule. <laughs> oh golly, we're getting there though. Tis the season, tis the season for busyness. It is, um, it is what it is. And we're looking at partly sunny skies and still, still quite a bit of mud. Um, we're, we're in the calm before the storm. So I know a lot of you, by the time this comes out, might be in the thick of it. I don't know when this is coming out. Uh, might be in the thick or just through that bad storm that's sweeping across the country. So... 
if you've been around or if you've ordered anything from my store, my online shop, then you know that that is housed and shared in Wyoming. That's where my fulfillment center is. That's where um, all of my shop items are warehoused and made and shipped out of, and they are about to get clobbered with a blizzard. Yeah, so they are working so hard to try to get orders out, and um, I just hope and pray that they all stay safe. And so, same for all of y'all out there, if you're facing that. We should not get any snow. The kids were hoping it would be snow. Looks like it's just going to be more rain. <laughs> Possibly an inch or more that we definitely don't necessarily need right now. But it is what it is, and we'll deal with it. Um, I think the guys are going to try to get some extra hay out today. I don't think it's starting tomorrow. Maybe it's sometime tomorrow, but more the next day gonna be it's gonna be a that might be a good day to do some Christmas uh, sweet making make our peanut butter balls or something I'm going to the store tonight so anyway okay enough of that where are your horses lady oh there they are come on y'all it's time for supper It's wood getting time. There's supposed to be a little girl helping him. Where did she run off to, I wonder? What do you think, Santa? Um, evidently, Santa's leg came off and got glued on. Backwards. <laughs> Bless his heart. There she is. All right, teamwork makes the dream work. Makes my heart happy. Okay, y'all, this is Wesley's deer. It has been marinating for days, and I mean days. It's probably already cooked. I think I'm just going to flash fry it in the skillet. And I got some rice cooking. And it's Christmas, and we just got back from the post office, and I got some beautiful, beautiful cards. Sweetest things. Your YouTube videos are some of the best parts of our week. How sweet is that? Thank you, Heidi and Becky and Don and Karen and oh my goodness let me show you this this is exciting look at this the Lufa lady the Lufa lady um the story family out in California I almost said Colorado I knew it was a C um check them out online there you go the Lufa lady.com Vizalia I want to say Vidalia Vidalia Georgia Vizalia California I hope I said that right um, look at all these things they make. The kids thought this was the coolest thing. They had to dig into it on the way home. So Lufa, they grow Lufa and they make all these um, awesome things. They got spray, they got soap, they got bath bombs, they got, I already got some of this on my lips. It, it feels so good. Um, all sorts of things. So thank y'all so much. This is so sweet. We cannot wait to use all of this. We got rollerball. Roller balls, essential oils. Thank you, thank you, love it. And I also got a really big, I've already put some away, big assortment of these knives from um, Alan and, hold on, I know it, Rose. Alan and Rose, thank y'all so much. You don't know this, but I love these Rada, and I say Rada, Rada, Rada? They're Amish knives, R-A-D-A. They sent me so many. I have a couple of these pear knives. They're so good. And the tomato knife, one of these. Um, my dad got me onto these years ago, but I do not have this many. I have like eight now, which is amazing because they work so good. If you're not familiar with these, they're stainless steel. They're made in the USA. It's R-A-D-A. -A. They are really awesome knives. If you can find some, do yourself a favor and get some. Thank y'all so much. This is seriously. A sharp knife around here can be hard to find. Um, I feel like, I feel like there's a pun there for my head sometimes. Sharp knife. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, she thought so. Um, so anyway, thank y'all for everything. I just showed him the Lufa stuff. You thought that was cool, didn't you? Yeah. We're gonna have. They also have a um, YouTube channel, so we're gonna have to check that. What was it? Um, hold on. R and It was like R. Do, 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 RB, RB Story. That's their um, homestead 
channel, RB Story. So look them up on YouTube. We're gonna do that so we can see how Lufa is growing because I've never seen it. I'd love to see what it actually looks like growing. Is it growing a vine? I feel like maybe it does. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, so I'm gonna find out. So anyway, y'all are the best. Thank you so much, we appreciate you. Now we gotta get supper on very quickly. We're eating at like 4.30. Definitely eating with the blue hairs tonight because the kids have their youth Christmas party. Super fun. So much going on this week. We had a fire department party last night. Um, we have this. They have this tonight. Then we have a cattleman's meeting this week. So um, there's two nights that I don't have to cook this week. Steaks, two nights that I don't have to cook. Holla. I shouldn't. Whatever. Yeah. Yay. Whoop, whoop. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Okay, that plated up really pretty. So I did plated, plated it. We got wild rice, onions, and venison. Venison. You can eat that much. You're growing, growing boy. <laughs> I can get out without falling. Okay, he's getting out without his cane. Yep, he's doing good, y'all. Pretty, pretty good considering. Look at him. Look at him. Two weeks. It's been two weeks. Two weeks and one day. of sickness. I mean, he's sick. Don't know what it is. Hopefully it's not the flu. The flu has been going around. He's got, um, Woo! he's got, um, he's got a sore throat, a little bit of a cough, mild fever. So, um, went to the store and I've got him loaded up with zinc and liquids, fluids, Bear flu. He didn't like the way that tasted. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, me. I just don't want my boy getting the flu. I don't want the our house getting the flu. It is going around really bad around here, though. We know several people that have had it, and it's just run through the whole house. So, praying that doesn't happen so close to Christmas. We um, we only have one place to get. We have, we have one thing planned. Just one. And I'd, I'd hate to miss that. Our Christmas with my family. We'll be gone just one day. We'll, we'll be gone. We'll be home same day, but it'll be one long day. So I hope we can get that done. That's like five days away. So anyway, my hay help is under the weather. So Austin and I will, Austin and I will, uh, 
pitch hit. Is it pinch hit or pitch hit? We'll, whatever that is, that's what we're doing. Okay, I have my stall cleaning, my stall cleaning crew here. They help in their own way, even if it's pretty gross. <laughs> it's starting to um, drizzle, but I looked at the radar and it's still quite a ways away. So I think that was just a little, just a little tease. Hopefully I can get this done um, and then go get them in a couple hours. Let them stay out as long as possible is the plan. Some of y'all have asked about these girls. They are still here, living their best life out in their big pasture together. We're just keeping the girls and the boys separated. Keeping the mares and the gelding separated. Everybody's fine. Fine, fine. <laughs> okay, let's see if the ponies are gonna come in. Come on, y'all. Let's go in and get supper. We're running out of daylight. It's starting to drizzle and they are not coming. <laughs> They're not, they're not running today. You're supposed to be running to the gate. Oh, Rip bucked and everything this morning. Rip bucked when you put him out? Yeah. He rolled twice and got and started Roll. Well, that's like, what oh, he does. Yeah. He rolls, then he got, gets up and he bucks and he snorts and he gets it out of his system. Okay. Oh. There they are. I didn't get them running because I was trying to get the halters off. <laughs> Good babies. That's my boy right there. That's my pretty boy. You ready to go in and get your supper? Get in where it's going to be dry and warm. Warm-ish. Okay, y'all. We are, we are making something new tonight. We are, um, we as in me, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing a little concoction here. I've been wanting to do like a pizza bake, like with um, pepperoni. And of course I have to use ground beef because, duh. Um, so anyway, I got to thinking about like what I could do for the bread part. And okay, I'm gonna show you. Let me just, let me just finish browning my ground round. Okay, this is what we're doing y'all. I've had this bag bo box the box box i've had this for a while and i've been needing to cook them meaning needing wanting anyway i decided to try something tonight so what i did was i put this with the amount of water it says to do it with and then i put this little seasoning packet that you would normally put on top of the biscuits i mixed it all in there together and um a little bit of um what do you call it sharp cheddar cheese I can't think. Okay, so I've got this, and I'm gonna spray my big Stargazer brazer. I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray, and then I'm gonna put some marinara sauce in there with the ground beef and, and mix that up. And we're gonna put this in the brazer and little dollops all the way around it. Then we're gonna cover it with that sauce meat, sauce meat, <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. And then I'm going to put some pepperoni. And then I'm going to put some mozzarella. And then we're going to bake it. And we're going to see. I just, I feel like this is going to be a winner. I feel it in my bones. Just like the cold in my bones. I feel it. So, here's hoping. I put the oven on 375. I'll do this. Just to make sure nothing sticks in my beautiful cast iron. I'm just gonna see how fun this is. We're just gonna just gonna get some and dollop it in there. Just I mean, you can just kind of throw it. I don't know. This is what this is what we're this is what we're doing. This is what we're trying. <laughs> oh, it's either gonna be super good or super fail. Stay tuned. Okay, this is what we've got. We've got a layer of biscuits. Tomato sauce and hamburger on top. Well, um, I did add a few seasonings like oregano and a little bit of fennel. And then I added a layer of pepperoni. And then I added some mozzarella. And in the oven it goes. Mm. 
Okay, y'all, if it tastes as good as it looks, we're gonna be good. I might have put too much marinara. It's a little runny. That's okay, we're gonna put them in our Fire King bowls. It's all gonna be just fine. Okay. <laughs> My neck has been killing me right here. That's neither here nor there. The um, skillets are clean, the dishes are clean, and um, yes, I got very, very, very excited about that dish. Um, it was good, it was good. I think the consensus is that maybe there was too much bread. Maybe I shouldn't have used the whole box, maybe. Um, I thought it was really good, I had seconds. <laughs> But I am the carb lover of the of the four. Well, Austin and I both. So anyway, um, they said they liked it. I don't think it was like a 10, 10 out of 10. It wasn't a 12 out of 10. It was probably like a 7 out of 10. And hey, I'll take a 7 out of 10 any night of the week. Anyway, that's that. Try it if you want. I would just maybe not use quite as much biscuit dough or just um use like a small can of canned biscuits even would work so all right <sighs> we're gonna close the kitchen and call it a night looks like these two already have <laughs> oh hey bonnie i see you in there <laughs> <laughs>